Hello, my name is Ricky. Welcome back for another reaction video with me, Ricky. This one is a bit different. Uh, it's um, something I grew up with, and that is Married with Children. And of course, Al Bundy. I have seen so many episodes, and this video has compiled seven minutes of best insults made by Al Bundy. So this is going to be amazing. If you do enjoy this content, I want you to smack the like and, of course, hit that subscribe. You know, I would greatly appreciate that. And we say thank you so much to the channel members and the Patreon. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. We have a shout out to the Supreme Tier donators over by Patreon and, of course, channel membership. Thank you so much for the amazing support. Personal shout outs to the Ultimate Supporters, only available on Patreon. Deja, Walt, Roni, Dwayne, Tammy, Kevin, and Dana. Now, the Mel Bundy. Love and marriage, love and marriage Go together like a horse and carriage Excuse me, but am I invisible? Possibly from Pluto. <laughs> Call the police. What for? The call costs more than the car. <laughs> yes, and it costs more than the condom I should have used the night you were conceived. I want a balloon. You already got one. Oh, <laughs> uh, honey, why don't you just stay home and bowl me over? Because, Peg, I, I prefer a place where my balls are returned promptly. <laughs> Well, mercy, congratulations. I didn't know you were expecting. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. My jumping must have expanded my foot. <laughs> but I see you must have fallen on your butt a time or two. How dare you say that to my face? Well, I'd say it behind your back, but my car's only got half a tank of gas. <laughs> That's very touching, honey. Now rub my feet. <laughs> hey, I wouldn't rub your feet if a genie popped out of them. You'll never guess what Jefferson did. Misunderstood your cries of pluck me to the butcher? As a little girl, I wanted to be a ballerina. Ballerina? <laughs> you sure are my nutcracker. Well, I have just about had enough of you. Well, you wouldn't say that if I came with fries and a medium drink. <laughs> This show would not, not be working today. You know medium, the size between small and you. Why must you always be so negative? Why did you cross the road? <laughs> I'm a natural born salesman. Excuse me. Hey, do I come to the hag shop bother you when you're working? <laughs> Good, now you can put that metal plate back in your head. <laughs> That's a lot like putting a lid on an empty jar. Oh. Or a bra on you. <laughs> Question two. Who would you rather spend the night with? A, your wife, or B? B. <laughs> fun of our way! Two, four, six, eight! Go make fun of our way! One, two, three, four. You're gonna fall through the floor. <laughs> this year, I am finally going to win the neighborhood decorating contest. What, are you going to stand out front and be the little drummer boy? I don't think you're going. Aren't you open? Sorry, ma'am, but unlike your mouth, we occasionally close. <laughs> Let me see just a second here. Now, why don't you just buck, 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 buck out of here? A shade of blue. I'll tell you what I'll do then. We'll stand you in front of a mirror. I'll begin strangling you. <laughs> When you reach the shade of blue that is satisfactory to you, you yell moo and I'll stop. That's it. I'm taking my business elsewhere. May I suggest Jenny Craig? Hi, honey. <laughs> Did you miss me? With every bullet so far. <laughs> wow, nice wheels. But you have to realize... Stealing cars is a felony. So let's pretend to be that kid on Home Improvement. <laughs> With this attitude, you're going to be working here for the rest of your life. 
Well, take a gander into the seat next to you if you want to see what your future looks like. <laughs> Penelope, let's go someplace where they treat us with respect. Or try the moon, you're way less <laughs> You know, Marcy, how can you be so unfeeling? Didn't you ever get up in the morning and suddenly realize that something very, very important was gone? Well, sure you do. You must every morning when you open up your pajama top. <laughs> Well, let me explain. See, it's it's just like an elevator. There's a two-ton weight limit on this. <laughs> no, no. Let's say I nail the soles directly to your feet. It'll give you more traction when you're pulling the ice wagon. You'll be hearing from my attorney. Is that the law offices of Hagen and Dot? <laughs> you know, Jefferson, good for you. You decided to take the Miller boy camping. Huh? Hey, Bundy, I had steak tonight. What are you having? If I was the mailman, I'd be having your wife. I smell foul. You certainly do. Hey, you're in my son. I'm trying to get an all-over tan. You're asking a lot of the sun. <laughs> Excuse me, do you have any pumps in my size? Yes, I do, but the Society for the Prevention of Cruelty to Shoes would not allow me to sell them to you. Well, I hope you get coal in your stocking on Christmas morning. And I hope you get slim fast in yours. <laughs> now, we're about to have our Christmas party here, so would you mind eggnogging on out? <laughs> and to help you out, I made a top ten list of Things to make you more attractive for your... for your sex symbol husband. Uh-oh. Number 10, wear traditional Islamic garb covering all but the eyes. Number nine, feather removing electrolysis. Number eight, ski mask. Number seven, sew up holes in ski mask. <laughs> Number six, hire attractive woman to stand in front of you at all times. Number five, beak job. Number four, put paper bag over ski mask. Number three, shave head, tattoo Cindy Crawford's face on back of head. Learn to walk backwards. Number two, poke out eyes of every man on earth. <laughs> Number one, get president to make every day Halloween. Ah, <laughs> oh, Peg, would it really make you feel better if I told you I needed you? Yes, it would. <laughs> That show would get completely destroyed if that edited uh, at this time and age. Thankfully, I lived back then, and I watched probably all the, uh, the episodes. Uh, I really did enjoy that. And it took me back to those uh, 90s when I was just chilling on TV. And uh, let me know what you think about that show. And of course, would it actually be working today or would it get canceled as soon as the first pilot episode came out? I mean, all the, the fat shaming, even though it is hilarious, back then it was allowed. Today, no. But again, thank you so much, Al Bundy, for the laughs. If you did enjoy this, smack the like and of course hit that subscribe. I would greatly appreciate that. And until next time. I'm Ricky, you stay safe.